Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we are looking at a helmet that is being sold on the American surplus market and often marketed as a French Foreign Legion helmet. It is anything but that. This is actually a French, and I know I'm going to butcher this word, it is a French gendarmerie helmet. Now, I think it's kind of disingenuous to say this is a French Foreign Legion helmet because it's not. Uh, it really has nothing to do with the French Foreign Legion. And the, the sorry thing is, as a helmet from the French Gendarmerie, it's actually very, very interesting of what it is and, and a very interesting piece of history if it was just sold for what it was. So the first clue is it's a standard French M51 helmet, which is a very much a uh, copy of the American M1 helmet. And it is painted in a very dark blue. And so that's kind of your first clue that it's gonna be a police helmet. Your second clue is the flaming bomb with the RF on it. And that's the standard uh, for the French Republic symbol. Nothing amazing there. Uh, when you see them in silver like this, that's going to be for the uh, gendarmerie, which did everything sort of in France itself. If you find one of these in gold, that actually stands for the mobile gendarmerie. And those were the guys who could have law enforcement duties outside of the boundaries of, of France as well. So a little bit uh, more specialized and a little more... Um, I guess interesting in that they would have been in Indochina, they would have been in North Africa, Algeria, a lot of places that the French were fighting through the 50s and 60s. Anyways, this is a standard M1 helmet, sorry, M51 helmet, it's such a close copy to the M1 that it's really hard to tell them apart. Uh, it was purpose made blue from the beginning and uh, made for the French gendarmerie. And just taking a look at all sides of it nothing amazing here you've got your nice rolled rim and as you would expect from anything made in france it is a quality nicely made helmet uh, very heavy good steel flip this guy over it actually comes with a liner as well and that's just a standard blue liner you could affix any kind of badge here if you wanted to just like uh, the American ones would have. Got your standard uh, rivet everything for the um, inside webbing. And very much like an American liner, nothing really you know, to write home about as, as terribly fascinating. Flip it over. You've got very typical uh, webbing inside it. You've got a, what feels like I believe a sort of a cheapish leather headband here on a liner that really is disposable if there was any kind of issue. You've got a thin leather chin strap, which probably would hardly be used, I would imagine, because it just kind of falls off easily. As you can see, it's simply connected by that and push that up and it'll come right off. That's so not really anything amazing. Um, this one has got a very nice maker's stamp inside it. And this is kind of always the key to tell how a, or a French helmet. Uh, you've got your maker in there, 1966 dated. That is one really cool thing about French helmets. They're nicely stamped, nicely dated. You know who made them, kind of no question about it. Um, and then you take a look at your M51 helmet here. Same thing, you've got a really nice date stamp there of 1957 with your maker and everything. This one was also a purpose-built gendarmerie helmet in that it's got the blue uh, uh, straps here. And over here, these are blue as well. And just your typical uh, hook fastener. Nothing amazing, but these saw a lot of service actually with a lot of uh, French gendarmerie action in uh, the 1960s when there were some pretty violent riots in uh, Paris, especially 1968 Paris certainly comes to mind. 
a lot of the strikes in the 70s and the 80s even. So these are a very historic, very interesting helmet, and uh, in a way, almost more interesting than a Foreign Legion just generic helmet. Um, this one actually has a fair amount of dents on it, so I just kind of wonder, I don't know that those are storage dents. It looks like it might have actually seen a little bit of service, which is kind of cool. And the great thing is these are actually uh, still available and certainly not that expensive for what they are. If you collect any kind of police or, or even military, because they are a military helmet made to the same grade as an M51 helmet, um, and the gendarmerie are a part of the French Armed Forces. They are a national police, but they are a military branch or a military force within the uh, French forces. Uh, you're basically getting a combat helmet for next to nothing because they've been surplused out and they're being replaced by Kevlar at this point. But just a lot of history here. One other thing I will point out, this is actually a metal badge that affixes to the front like that. Uh, you'll see later ones made in the uh, 70s and 80s that are actually uh, just a decal that goes on the front. So this is one of the earlier ones, uh, kind of cool. And uh, we'll be taking a look at one of the later ones in an upcoming video. If you like what you're seeing, like and subscribe, and we'll be putting up a lot more stuff in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching.